cutting-edge work with AI to help those at risk of going blind and improving the understanding of a complex molecule that can aid cell function. These are among research works that received this year's Young Scientists Award. Dr. Daniel Ting is from the Singapore National Eye Centre. You see him up there in the screen. And Dr. Jonathan Gurka is from the Genome Institute of Singapore at Astar, and he's with me in the studio. Congratulations both uh, to both of you. Um, Dr. Ting, maybe I start with you first. Uh, take us through uh, the journey and finally the work that actually helps people with severe eye condition. Yeah, hi, thanks for having me today. Really, uh, you know, um, uh, being very privileged to be here. So as a vitro retina surgeon, I manage a wide range of complex medical and surgical conditions uh, in the Singapore National Eye Centre, from diabetic retinopathy, retina detachment to age-related macular degenerations uh, using sophisticated technologies to prevent blindness. Our goal is to um, position ourselves as one of the global leading eye care and AI hubs, uh, leveraging on AI and big data to enhance early screening and diagnosis of eye conditions and uh, we also want to deliver a uh, highly precise uh, medical and surgical care for the patients and also to help improve the healthcare equity and standards, not just within Singaporean population, but also extend the reach uh, regionally and internationally. Yeah, mm. I, can, I can hear a lot of what you're saying, uh, why you were awarded this prize, especially with the global reach and things like that. But I want to know specifically how AI uh, plays a role I I in this. Uh, what can you now do? What can you now track that was not possible before? Right. So AI, as uh, we are all aware, is uh, currently uh, is considered as the fourth industrial revolution that has changed many aspects how we deliver eye care globally, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. So in, com uh, in collaboration with the NUS uh, School of Computing, our lab in the Singapore Eye Research has developed a smart AI system using the latest uh, AI technology to detect diabetes eye-related mm. conditions. And uh, diabetes is a multi-systemic uh, problem that affects the big and small vessels in the body. And sometimes the scary uh, thing about the diabetes is that the severe diabetic changes in the eyes are left unnoticed as a lot right. of the patients may have still good vision at the initial stage. So this AI system that we developed can automatically analyze the retinal photos within a few seconds to screen for the patients with moderate to severe eye conditions that uh, require immediate retinal lasers, eye injections or surgeries uh, to actually prevent blindness. Yeah, as, some, as I'm sure every one of us knows somebody with diabetes, so that's uh, really good to know. Uh, maybe I can bring you in, Dr. Guka. Um, you're specialising in RNA research, okay? So translate that into layman terms for our audience and, and why we should care. Mm. So uh, you can think about RNA as a messenger molecule. Mm -hmm. It uh, reads the information that's encoded in our genes, in our genome, and it then translates that to a functional product. It tells the cells or what the cell is supposed mm -hmm. to be doing at any mm -hmm. time point. And at the Genome Institute of Singapore, we have technologies to read these RNAs. Yeah. So that allows us to look at the cell. It's like a molecular magnifying glass right. that helps us to get a picture of what happens in a cell at any time point. It's, it's a question we journalists ask. So what? What is, the, what is the benefit of this? And what do you think its applications uh, could be? Mm. So um, we develop computational methods that help us to better understand this data that we mm. get from what we call RNA sequencing. Yeah. Um, and one component is, for example, two RNA molecules. They have the same message, uh -huh. with the same RNA sequence, what we say. It can still be different. The cell might recognize it slightly different. That's because they can be modified. So they uh, you know, look to us the same, but to the cell they're very different. And these modifications, uh, they can be read out. And we develop computation methods that allow us to identify these modifications. And so scientists or clinicians can then use these methods to, for example, study where do these modifications occur, yeah. uh, what is the function of these modifications, or they can look into clinical samples to understand are these modifications, for example, associated with human diseases. Okay, so, so I, I see where you're going with this, but let me go back to Dr. Ting for a while. Uh, Dr. Ting, you know, your work is already seeing some practical usage. I believe it's being used in patients at the Singapore National Eye Centre. Um, I'm sure it's early days, but what have you seen to be the results so far? 
Yeah, so this AI system, uh, we have uh, named it and coined it as uh, Selena Plus. It's currently being uh, integrated into the national DR screening program uh, with the support of Synapse. We are using this AI system to perform the first line screening on the retina photos and uh, then followed by the human graders to actually further uh, reconfirm whether these patients actually do need to see us or not uh, in the National Eye Centre. The system uh, right now, based on what we have observed, is very fast and very accurate. And we have published some of the findings in the past few years in terms of the AI, uh, the outcome, the safety, as well as some of the health economics uh, associated with that. Yeah. So positive then. It's, it's doing what you want it to do. I would like to think so, yes. Okay. Um, you know, this award uh, is, is very special. Uh, I, I do want to put this question to both of you, Dr. Gurkha, first to you. The Young Scientist Award, it, how crucial was it in making a difference in the kind of work that you are doing? Is it something you could have done without the award? Mm. So um, I think uh, yeah, it has been an exceptional experience for me receiving the award, seeing that the work is recognized uh, as part of uh, the scientific landscape in Singapore. And I think it has been a huge motivation to, um, to build on what we have achieved and try to make new connections. And I think it has been really helpful already in trying to build new bridges to, to other partners. And uh, motivation, I think, to further train uh, the next generation of scientists and wow. build uh, better models that help us to understand our Right, AI. so uh, attracting is important. You want the talent as yeah. well, right, to, to, to come to this uh, particular sector. And you heard Dr. Uh, Gurkha there, uh, Dr. Ting, saying that, you know, you're making noise, in a, uh, more noise in a very crowded space. Is that what you're finding too? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I would like to really uh, also, you know, thank the community for awarding me uh, with mm -hmm. the award. And uh, personally speaking, I would like to actually make, make small contributions in these, like, you know, the booming, exploding uh, AI space uh, globally right now as we speak. And um, I would actually also like to do a special mention to my late mom who inspired me to pursue medicine about PhD about 20 years ago. She passed two years after fighting multiple myeloma for several years. Mm. I think uh, moving forward, I think this award really strengthens my commitment to see how we could actually leverage on the cutting edge uh, AI technologies to find more new cures for medicine mm -hmm. and uh, find more actually uh, health uh, innovations to uh, enable early screenings. And of course, uh, coming back from the Singapore wanting to position ourselves as a smart nation 2.0 yeah. and how do we actually create more intellectual property startups and to scale Singapore homegrown AI innovations globally yeah absolutely I think uh, um, you're on the right track then we appreciate you sharing that with us today um, I've been speaking there with uh, the Young Scientist Award winners two of them Dr. Daniel Ting from uh, Singapore National Eye Centre as well as Dr. Jonathan Gurkha from A-Star thank you gentlemen